So joining us now with more on the mission is the Associate Administrator at NASA's Science Mission Directorate, Dr. Thomas Zerbuchen. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I, I love all things space, and I just think this is so cool that there will be the first ever powered flight on another planet. So from what I understand, Ingenuity has 30 Martian days, which I guess is 31 Earth days to carry out this mission. What's happening? Can you break down the timeline for us? So what we're going to do in the next few days is really prepare the vehicle. So we're going to drop it onto the surface on April 1st, and then we're going to really go day by day until no earlier than the 8th of April. This is going to take the first flight that was just described in the movie. We have three more flights, uh, and that in each one of those flights, we're going to push more and more. We're going to go higher, farther, and really learn how to have controlled flight. We're so excited about this true machine of innovation that we're going to have there on this planet. Dr. Z, what's the goal here? I mean, what, what do we hope to accomplish uh, by, by spending all this, this time studying Mars? So we are so excited to be on Mars. Uh, see, Mars, of course, just like the Earth, is a planet that really formed in the same process. Together with Venus, the terrestrial planets are there. And what happened is three billion years ago, just where Perseverance is now and where the helicopter is flying now, right there, where the helicopter will fly in, in the next few days, right there, there used to be water. Uh, and, and just like on Earth, and we're really interested in asking about the origin of life mm. uh, by asking about the origin of life on Mars. We learn about the origin of life here. There's many other questions we have. So many of them are about the planet, but also about our own beautiful home, our Earth. Mm -hmm. And I know Mars only has about 1% of the atmosphere that we have. As a meteorologist, I know forecasting on Earth can be a challenge. Are, are you having to make forecasts for wind and whatnot to, to be able to fly Ingenuity? So first of all, yes, we have a forecast that we're doing, but we're also excited that on Perseverance, we actually have a weather station that we can measure the wind at and we can check to be sure that the wind, you know, we're not in the middle of a storm or something like that before we take off with ingenuity. Yes, we do forecast, but also measurements right there. It couldn't be any better. That's so cool. They're calling this a Wright Brothers moment, Dr. Z. We even heard that there's an artifact from the Wright's first airplane on board ingenuity. What's the artifact and why did NASA choose to include it? Every time we do something new like this, for the first time, we have a deep sense of history. And of course, we all uh, remember from our history lessons and because we read books, that Wright Brothers moment on December 17th in 1903. And we brought along, you know, one kind of little patch of the cloth, the material that was there on that flyer. And we just really believe, we celebrate that uh, ingenuity of those uh, historic figures. Of course, we're also remembering that it's over 500 years since Leonardo da Vinci died, who drew, drew first time uh, that uh, a picture of a helicopter, an idea he had. And, and that sense of history, we hope to continue uh, with that flight. And Dr. Z, I know this is all just raising so much excitement. I mean, there's history being made on so many levels with this mission. Do you expect that all this this newfound excitement is going to you know, get kids interested in space again? Is this all going to advance the future of space exploration? Oh, I sure hope so. We're really interested in exciting our kids. You know, the careers that we have, the careers in STEM, but many others uh, in space and beyond, are such rewarding careers, and we really want to encourage kids from all backgrounds and, and you know, uh, all genders, you know, to come join us and really have these rewarding careers, do exciting work of the type that uh, you want to talk to others about. So, so we really hope uh, with talking about this and also highlighting our individuals like Mimi Ong, you can know, know her uh, after we're done here. She's the head of it, you know. Uh, mm. uh, she was born in Myanmar and left early, just uh, together with all the other individuals. Uh, we want to invite them to join us and, uh, you know, scientists and STEM to do exciting things that change just the future and how we think about ourselves even. Well, this is all just really so exciting. Dr. Z, good luck with everything, and thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks to you both. So Appreciate cool. it. You know, I used to want to be an astronaut. It's not too late. Apparently they have meteorologists that are, that are forecasting on Mars.
That's true. There I, you I go. Can switch careers. Oh, you Are you trying to get se- rid of me? No, you want to sit here alone? Pick up a second <laughs> job. No, no, we need you here. But you can pick up a second gig. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.